So if I asked, does your art speak for itself? You know, I certainly have heard a lot of artists um, say, my art speaks for itself. And, I, you know, I can see where visually, if we're standing in front of a piece of art, particularly in person, it might give us an amazing experience just viewing it. But when we want people to deeply understand what we do, and when you want to use your images to reach the goals that you have, you really need more than just the images. Now, so far, I've talked about a whole laundry list of all types of different images that you're going to want to consider and you're going to want to use in different situations. But I think that you've got to have the written collateral as well. At the very basic level, it's titles, description, size, and that is going to let us know well, what are these materials? What is this made of? As we're looking at these images um, that are on this particular slide, I'm not giving any artist credit here because actually these images were presented with no information. And so that leaves us a little bit as, at a loss. You know, what do we know about them and what still goes unanswered. It's kind of, to me, it's like a movie with no soundtrack. It's we're really missing a lot because the information that we're going to be giving people that is written or even spoken is going to engage the left part of the brain with compelling language that's really going to enhance our viewing experience. So um, let's talk about how we can start incorporating that next. 